Hey guys, Adam here, The Roof Strategist, and today we're covering the top three objections that are standing between you and closing a sale. Now, these are the three big ones that homeowners bring up, the three questions, what makes them uncomfortable. This is what causes that roadblock where you think you're going to get that deal, and all of a sudden they drop the big question and you get caught on your heels and you leave the house without inking it. Now, I want to arm you with the knowledge you need to overcome those objections with confidence and clarity so that homeowner will confidently sign with you and then give you more referrals. Now, after we watch this video, feel free to drop some comments in the comment section below if there's other ones that you see coming up. Maybe we can make some videos on that in the future. So let's jump into the first one, the deductible, right? So homeowners are always questioning the deductible. They think for some reason they don't have to pay it. Um, or they, they have heard that one roofer will eat the deductible, right? That's the, the language. They'll eat the deductible or they'll waive it. And then it goes into this price war, which destroys job profitability. Whether you're an owner or a salesman, jobs need to be profitable for us to live and to provide the quality product that our customers deserve. And that gives you the commission that you need from selling the job. So if you give out a thousand dollar deductible or $5,000 deductible on this job, and let's say it's John, and then John gives you a referral, he's gonna tell his friend, oh, this guy will eat your deductible. Boom, there's $10,000 out of the gate that you just lost commission on, which could be 500,000 bucks, 1500 bucks, depending on how your company pays commissions. So don't give away anything. Now, my job in overcoming the deductible question, objection, is to flip the switch in their mind to go from, oh my gosh, I have to pay my deductible, to then, Oh, thank heavens, I only have to pay my deductible. And I'll show you how I do that. I coined this phrase that has worked really, really well called the price lock guarantee, okay? And the price lock guarantee is built into the roofing sales accelerator marketing pack. So if you are interested in that, there's a link below. It's some turnkey, fill in the blank and click print marketing material to help you get more sales. So let me explain what this price lock guarantee is. Again, my job is to change that conversation in the prospect's mind. So to do that, I want to say, listen, when you work with me, I ensure that you don't pay a dime more than your deductible unless there's elective upgrades that you choose to make, which we can chat about, or if there's anything hidden in the project that's not covered by the insurance. And on rare occasion, we might find some rotted decking and that's usually 50 bucks a sheet or whatever your company charges, right? So we wanna put them at ease on what they can expect so we don't set false expectations. So what that means, Mr. Homeowner, is when I go to bat for you with the insurance company, we're gonna assess all the damage, get your roof approved properly, and all you owe is your deductible, no more, no less. That's my price lock guarantee. That means that I can't get your roof approved for say 15,000 and then come back to you and say, sorry, buddy, I'm charging you 20, okay? Now you and I both know that would never happen, but that's how you switch that dialogue in the prospect's mind to go from crap, I have to pay my deductible to thank heavens, that's all I have to pay. Now I use this in my marketing material to advertise that we have a price lock guarantee. That piques people's interest. What does that mean? It thinks they're gonna save money. It gives them a sense of security. And that's truthfully how the contingency works. So next time you face the deductible, bring up that price lock guarantee and educate the homeowner that all they owe is their deductible, no more, no less, unless there's elective upgrades or any rotted decking that you might find. All right, the next objection that we often see is, my insurance rates are gonna go up. My handwriting, by the way, is horrid and you're just gonna have to deal with it. My insurance rates will go up, right? We've all heard this one. I don't wanna file a claim because my rates are gonna skyrocket and they're freaking out, they're sad, right? It means money. <laughs> what we don't want is to let that stand between us and closing a deal. Now, I'm gonna do my best to find this article. It came up about eight years ago, but it was produced by an insurance regulatory board that states that an act of God claim cannot impact your insurance rates. So people often anchor their homeowner's insurance to auto insurance. I got in an accident, I filed a claim, my rates went up, that happens. But when an act of God, meaning rain, uh, rainstorm, a windstorm, a hailstorm, something that's beyond your control happens to your home, they cannot raise your rates because of that. It's very different if your home got burglarized or you were a dummy and left the stove on and left the house and your house burned down, that's negligence. But for an act of God, okay, that's, how, that's the insurance language, act of God, the insurance rates cannot be raised. So 
I'm going to do my best to find that uh, video. If I can, I'll put a link in the, uh, in the comments for you to reference that article. But it is very, very powerful to educate people on the difference between a negligence claim and an act of God. Okay, uh, So that should not raise the rates. Naturally, each year insurance rates do go up. Sorry, that's my cat walking around and he's a little vocal today. Um, so that's how we overcome the objection of my rates will go up. Now, the final objection is, and we've all heard this one, this is when you think you had the sale, but the homeowner says, I don't want to sign anything yet. Right, have you heard this one? Oops, that's supposed to be an exclamation point. They say, hey, I don't wanna sign anything yet. Let's see what the insurance company says, or I don't know you, I'm not comfortable signing this contingency. We need to let them know that our contingency agreement is just that. It is contingent upon the outcome that we get the entire roof settled for them, okay? And they also need to know that if we don't get the outcome that we all agreed upon, whether it's a full roof replacement or partial, that this contingency agreement is dust in the wind. They don't owe us a dime. Rip it up, you don't owe us a thing. So it is in their best interest. They literally have everything to gain to have a professional there on site helping them and speaking with the insurance adjuster on their behalf to properly assess their damage. It'd be like going into court and trying to rep your, represent yourself without a lawyer. No one would do that. So by signing this contingency, by authorizing me to represent you, I'm representing your best interests because the outcome is in my best interest because the only way that we get paid is by doing the work. So we offer this front end service to work with the insurance company, to represent the homeowner, and to supplement the claim if needed for any missed coverage for the best interest of the homeowner. And obviously we wouldn't put ourselves out there yet because we would waste our time and not get paid. And, I, and I've said this straight to the homeowners and they understand it. I'm not hiding anything, right? Everyone's in business to get paid. And this way they know they have everything to gain and nothing to lose. And I always do that, that dramatic thing. Like if, if this doesn't work out, rip the, con the contingency up, it's dust in the wind. You don't know what's a dime, okay? So those are the top three objections. The deductible, insurance rates going up, or they don't wanna sign anything. And now you are armed with the knowledge to confidently overcome those. So if you like what you heard, click thumbs up, click subscribe. Feel free to drop any comments in the comment section below. And if you are interested, you can uh, click to download the Roofing Sales Accelerator Marketing Pack. Um, I've priced it incredibly low. It'll get instantly delivered to your inbox. Click download, fill in the blank, put in your company information, click print, you're off to the races. If you're not ready yet, you can also download my three tricks to get to the kitchen table, and that'll arm you with three simple tactics to use to get past the front door, in seated in the kitchen table where sales really happen. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you on the next one.